Mr. Fernando Haddad, Minister of Education for Brazil, I would like to say that I was really touched by your very pleasant words. I cannot uh, say this in Portuguese, but I'm saying it in Spanish, which is the closest to your language, I believe. Your Excellency, Alpha Omar Conare, former President of Mali, Your Royal Highness, Princess Laurentine of the Netherlands, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. We have traveled from over 150 countries to this historic city of Belém, set on the banks of two majestic rivers that flow from the Amazon rainforest, one of the great lungs of our planet. At the invitation of the government of Brazil, the sixth UNESCO International Conference on Adult Education convenes for the first time in the Southern Hemisphere, in the home country of the late Paulo Freire, one of the world's most celebrated adult educators. Our presence here is symbolic for many reasons. We are in a region that embodies the global challenge of responsible and sustainable develop, development of the Earth's precious resources. We are in a vast country that harbors a tremendously rich linguistic and cultural diversity, accounts among the world's largest emerging economies. It is a country staunchly committed to education and the reduction of poverty and inequality to a model of sustainable development and growth that is the key to building more just and peaceful societies. This is an enormous responsibility we face next week at the crucial United Nations Climate Change Conference in Copenhagen. There is but one wise choice to make, to seal a deal that will slow down global warming and set us on a more sustainable course. The entire world is at stake in protecting the Amazon, the world's largest, largest forest, and supporting Brazil's ambitious commitment to reduce deforestation. It is by learning throughout life that we can better understand our world and shape it, individually and collectively. It is clear that education has a major role to play in helping people at all ages to understand climate change and to develop attitudes, values and skills to better protect the planet we share. UNESCO is committed to a comprehensive vision of learning at all ages. Compite 6 is the fourth international, international conference on education organized by UNESCO since November 2008. Each one has focused from different perspectives on how to build inclusive, innovative, high-quality education systems that serve the, need, the needs of all learners. Today, we are here to demonstrate the power of adult learning and education to ensure a viable future for all. Our goal over the next four days is to take forward the agenda of adult learning and education by securing stronger political recognition of its crucial importance for development and agreeing on concrete recommendations to increase its scope and reach. As we all know, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, adopted in 1948, enshrined everybody's right to education. Even now, over 60 years later, we still need to reiterate this right that it extends to children, youth, and adults. At all stages of life, of life, education is transformative. It empowers individuals with the knowledge and skills to better their lives. More broadly, it opens the way to active citizenship and democratic participation. Evidence shows that it impacts on economic growth and per capita income. This is why the provision of good quality learning opportunities for all throughout life is one of the smartest strategies for reducing inequalities and promoting more harmonious 
and just societies. Adult learning counts more than ever in the era of globalization. Economic integration, technology, migration, and the complexity of global challenges place a high premium on knowledge and skills. Rapidly growing economies, such as Brazil's, are highly dependent on expertise in all domains, from agriculture to health. No country has ever climbed the human development ladder without steady investment in lifelong learning. Literacy, starting in childhood, is the point of departure of comprehensive lifelong learning policies. Today, one in six adults, a staggering 774 million, cannot read the world, as Paulo Freire would put it, because they lack basic literacy and numeracy skills. 67% of these adults are women, with dramatic consequences for the well-being of their children and families. We cannot build a viable future on these grounds. Such educational disparities between people, regions, and countries are simply not compatible with a fairer globalization. Together, in 2000, we committed to change to change this by adopting an ambitious set of goals to improve human well-being. The Millennium Development Goals are precisely about rendering human dignity to the excluded, reducing the unacceptable incidence of poverty, hunger, maternal and infant mortality, and HIV and AIDS. They are about ensuring universal access to education and achieving gender equality, because we cannot build a better future when discrimination against girls and women persists. The six educational goals within the Education for All, adopted the same year in the car, chart out a comprehensive agenda to meet the learning needs of all children, youth, and adults. To relate directly to this conference, achieving a 50% increase in levels of adult literacy by 2015, and providing equitable access to learning and life skills programs for young people and adults. The United Nations Literacy Decade then run, that runs until 2012 is a worldwide drive to increase literacy through stronger political commitment, better programs, and bold advocacy. The United Nations Decade for Education for Sustainable Development is about ensuring that learners at all ages acquire the know-how to live and act in a responsible way, especially towards the environment. Both decades are of particular relevance to this conference. 